so I figured I would do a quick OOTD for y'all because I actually got myself ready and actually was able to fully get ready because I'm kidless and I don't know what to do with myself today. So I got this shirt from the Mint Julep online. I got this in a lot of different colors last year, I think. I got it in four different colors. Um, they're like $45 retail, I think. But they run sales where they're like two for, let's see, buy one, get one free, I think is what it was. Was it buy one? Yeah, I think it was buy one, get one free. So I bought four of them. I got a taupe color. I got this olive green color. I got a wine and I got a like bright blue, kind of like Easter egg blue. So um, they're really cute and they're very versatile. They can be dressed up, they can be dressed down, they can be worn with jeans or leggings, whatever you wanna do with them. They're actually not off the shoulder, but you can make it off the shoulder like I did today. I got this necklace from Francesca's, which is where I buy a ton of my jewelry. My earrings are rose gold. I got those from Francesca's. My jeans are from American Eagle because I'm obsessed. I also love Old Navy jeans. But I love American Eagles jeans because they last for literally ever. I've had some of their jeans for like 10 years. <laughs> and then I got my shoes from Old Navy as well. They are pointed cheetah print and they're adorable. And my purse I got actually in Spain when we went on one of our Cincy incentive trips. So I really put this together pretty quickly, but it looks like I put myself together today and it makes me happy. So I wanted to show y'all real quick what I'm on the lookout for today. So I have a table coming in two days. It's gonna go right here in this area finally. I've been wanting a nice dining table for years. So I have that coming and I only ordered two chairs because they don't actually go with the table. The I didn't like the chairs that came with the set. So I ordered two chairs that are different. And before I order six, I wanna make sure that I like them. So if I do like them, I'm gonna order the other four. But it's all gonna go right here. We're renting this house, but I would really love to change this light fixture out. So that may be something we do later. And um, the other thing that I, so for the table, I'm looking for a runner, I'm looking for a centerpiece, and then I'm also looking for something different to hang here. So I really want something that is a big sign, sort of similar to this one in our living room ignore our couches we're getting new couches but I want something and actually this goes with the sectional that's why it doesn't have sides on it it's kind of weird but it went better with the setup of the living room anyway so I am looking for either something like this with a dining quote like a gather type quote so that's kind of what I have envisioned for this space right here also if we have room which I don't think we're going to, but if we do, I would love to put like some kind of buffet table right there. This is actually just our dining space. We have a formal dining room, but that is my office. So I want something to go there. I'm looking for more fillers for my mantle and also for these shelves and this table over here. I'm not happy with how I have it set up right now. So we're looking for some different things y'all look at how bad these walls in this house look like this is so bad we're hopefully going to paint all of this because this color is just not cutting it for me you can't really tell right now because it's dark in here but it's like a almost goldish looking taupe and it's just too dark for me like you, you can see it good in here it's just too yellowy for me so i'm looking for more fillers more plants and I may be looking for some things for the front porch because we don't have anything out there, but I think I'm gonna put this wreath out there, this magnolia wreath, and maybe like look for a welcome sign of some sort or you know something to put on the porch that where it's just not so plain and it looks kind of springy. So if I can find something, then that will be last on my list probably, but we'll see what we can find. All right, so we are going to, we are going to Kirkland's. Um, probably not Kirkland's first. We're gonna go to Super Target because I want to look in the dollar spot and I also want to look and see what they have in the Magnolia section, the Hearth and Hand section, because I may get some things for my new dining table or some little hand towels to put on my oven or 
who knows. I also am going to Michael's after that because all their spring is 50% off right now. So I want to see what I can find. And then after that, I'm going to go to Home Goods and actually Target. Michaels, Kirkland's, and Hobby Lobby are all right there together, so it's so convenient. I'm pretty obsessed. I'm so excited because we have lived in this house for going on two months now, and this is the first time I've actually got to go shop for home decor, and also I'm kidless, so I don't have to feel rushed, and I'm very excited about that. I get to just go do what I love to do best and spend money. I'm just kidding, but seriously, shop for home decor and actually decorate, that's my favorite thing to do, so really excited to go check out what everybody has this season hopefully I can find everything I need today and then when I get home I will show y'all what I got y'all are not ready for this haul Ooh, so much stuff okay so I literally shopped till I dropped today I shopped for a long time, y'all, like six hours. <laughs> I started out at Super Target. Then I went to Marshall's. Then I went to Michael's. And then Kirkland's, TJ Maxx, Joanne, Home Goods. And then I went to At Home. If you have never been at home, let me just tell you, it was the most amazing place I have ever been in my life. It's like the size of Lowe's, but it's all home decor and furniture. It was insanity. And it was the last place I went. I did not plan to go there. And I decided that I was gonna go in there because I passed by and I was like, I've never been to this place. It looks amazing. It's called At Home, the home decor superstore or something like that. And I was like, I have to go in there while I don't have a kid. So, went in there and I ended up finding that sign, which is like exactly what I had pictured in my head that I could not find anywhere else. I had even looked at Hobby Lobby online and I found one, but I wasn't for sure about it. But this one I saw and I was like, yes, have to have that. So, I'm going to show y'all real quick what I got. Um, this first thing is not home decor, but I thought it was adorable. This is going to be Carson's Easter basket. It's a little bunny riding in a carrot and I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. I got this at TJ Maxx. No. I got this at Home Goods, and it was like not much. It was do 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 seven ninety nine, and it's compared at fourteen dollars. So I got that there, and this is fabric, so you, you could even monogram these. They had lots of different ones. They had girly ones. They had boyish ones like that. I needed some new pot holders. I got these from the Magnolia Collection. I think they're adorable, very farmhousey. They have these little hooks so you can hang them. They're leather hooks and I think they're adorable. These were $8.99. These are very nice, very thick, very good quality. So I got those at Target. I grabbed this little vase at Target because you can never have too many little vases like this to just, you know, for fillers, it was a dollar. And then also this came from Target. This was on clearance for $6.48. It was $12.99, it's an, a five by seven. Also from Target, I grabbed another little vase. Super cute, if I can get it to focus. And then I got this little basket in the dollar spot. It was five bucks. And I needed something for my produce because the one I'm using right now for bananas and avocados and all that stuff isn't big enough. I like that this is a basket, but um, it's super cute and it's pretty, it's pretty big, but not too big. I needed some just random plants. I always need plants for fillers. I wanted to do, I want, I'm gonna show y'all some ideas that I have for my table. And I'll show you what when I have everything finished when my table gets here. So I got this basket thing at Michael's and it was $16 and it was on sale 50% off with the spring items. Um, I got these cute little carrots at Michael's because I wanted to get a few little things for Easter to just incorporate into my decor but not go all out because I just don't usually go all out for Easter. But um, these were on sale for $7 for three of them. They're bundled together, but of course you could take them apart and do really cute things with them. So I was kind of thinking of um, maybe laying these in here and just like putting random things in here. So maybe like a plant, a bunny, um, just like, you know, just random little, th like obviously probably not like that, but just 
random little things just stick in here um, as my centerpiece for my table. And then this will be my runner. And I got this at, at home for $14.99. It's very cute. It's not burlap. It may look, look like burlap on the camera, but it's not. It is like linen, but I love the frayed edges and it's like a, a really light tan. So I love this. I actually wanted something that was white with like tan stripes, but I saw this and I loved it. So anyway, this plant is from TJ Maxx. I had to get everything non-breakable, unless I'm gonna be putting it out of Carson's reach, but he's in everything and he climbs everything. So I know he's eventually gonna be on top of this table. So I got things that are not breakable or dangerous for him. So um, this was $7.99 and it's compared at $12. Finally found a paper towel holder. I've been looking for a paper towel holder forever. I actually wanted one that was wood and white marble but the one that I found that was white marble, I didn't think the white marble would look very good up against my dark granite. So I just went with a stainless steel. Our appliances are stainless steel, so I think this will look way nicer than what I have. Got that at TJ Maxx for $7.99, and it's compared at $12. Nope, I got that at Home Goods. This cute little Easter bunny is from Home Goods as well. This actually, they had this at TJ Maxx, and the one I picked up was the only one they had left, and it was broken. So Luckily, I found it at Home Goods. It has beads that are sparkly on it. They had different colors. They had pink and yellow. Very cute. They had different styles of these, but I just wanted a few little simple things. I wanted a little clock to use just as a filler, and I found this at TJ Maxx for $7.99. I thought it was adorable. I picked this up at TJ Maxx as well. This was not planned. Um, a lot of this stuff wasn't, excuse me. Excuse me. Go lay down. Y'all, her breath smells like disgusting. Go lay down. I don't know if I'll keep this because I honestly don't have a clue what I'm going to do with it, but maybe I can find something to do with it. Maybe I can put it on my mantle. But um, this was, uh, this was $9.99 at Marshall's compared at $15 and it's really nice. It's wood and glass and has this rope handle. At Kirkland's, I found this cute little Every Bunny Welcome sign. It was $6.99 and it's really tiny. And then I just picked up this little bundle, this little floral bundle from Kirkland's because I loved it. Um, this was $6.99 as well, but it was on sale 50% off, I think. Maybe 30% off. I don't know. Their florals were on sale either 30 or 50% off. I picked up another picture frame at Marshall's for $5.99. This is gorgeous. I really picked this up probably for our bedroom. It's very elegant. It's ivory, has a lot of detail on it. I also picked up a new utensil holder, another thing that I was not looking for, but I've been wanting for a while and I just never found one that I loved until I saw this one. It has gray detail around the top. I love it. It was $7.99 compared at $12. So that came from Marshall's. And I also grabbed another little plant from Marshall's. It was $4.99 compared at $8. So very cute. It's like a taupey gray kind of color. This is a sign I picked up at At Home. It was $29.99. It obviously says gather here with grateful hearts. <laughs> it's really big. It's like two and a half feet long, maybe three feet. I absolutely love it. This is what I had in mind when I thought, okay, I need something to put near my dining table and dining area. So I grabbed that. I needed some more kitchen towels. So I grabbed these from TJ Maxx, maybe? No, Marshalls. These were $5.99 and there are two of them and they're really thick and nice. We needed new washcloths. So I grabbed these as well at Marshalls. They were $4.99 for four. Um, actually, yeah, for four. And they're really thick, really nice washcloths. I grabbed another oven mitt because I needed new ones of these too. This was $3.99 at Marshall's. I just thought it was adorable. It goes with my style. And then I picked this up. Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's a tobacco basket that says welcome. And I thought it was adorable. It was $14.99 at Marshall's compared at $22. So that is what I got today. Some of this is going to have to go back probably because I literally got so much stuff that I don't even know what I'm going to do with some of it. So um, yeah, some of this might have to go back, but I will show y'all what I end up doing with everything 
and I'm excited to do all this decorating. Also, I recently got these bar stools from Amazon and I could not believe how much I paid for these. I got four of them. You could only buy them in sets of four. I got four of them for like $110, y'all. I was like, what? <laughs> so yeah, these are really good quality. I couldn't believe it. I will link these below. They are metal. They're like a brass finish. I think they had different colors, but I love that they have a handle because I can just grab them, move them out when I need to vacuum under them or move them. I love these, y'all. And they look really good. They tie in really good with the counter color and with the hardware on our cabinets. Obviously, this isn't our color of choice of cabinets or countertops, but we're renting this house, so we don't have a choice. But yeah, I really love these. Go get it. come with it and they're the same color as this tabletop but the cushions are also the same color and so it just was not I knew I loved the table but the chairs were not calling my name so I immediately in my head thought that contrasting chairs would look so good and I immediately thought of this style and so I searched to see if they had any to go with it and they did online so I ordered two to make sure I liked them and I loved them, so I ordered the rest, so I now have six. And we have not had a nice big dining table like this ever, so I'm very excited to finally have this. These chairs were kind of a pain because the tools that they send are terrible. I will link all of this in the description box for y'all, but if you do get these particular chairs, I would say to use your own tools because it will make it a lot easier. Here is my sign. I would love to know y'all's opinion. Um, I'm not sure if I should put something under this. Like I saw some really pretty forks and spoons that are like almost the length of this at Hobby Lobby and they're white rustic. And I was just kind of thinking that those might look cute like this, like horizontally underneath it. Or do y'all think it looks good like it is? It's a pretty big sign, but this wall is so big and the ceilings are so tall that you just, it's hard to decorate big walls like this without things looking lost. <laughs> so what do y'all think? Do you think I should leave it like this or do you think I should add something to it? This will be stained about the same color as the table, I think, because the table and this picture really coordinate well they're almost the exact same color but i'm gonna stain this and i love that it has these handles to match the chairs and the bottom of the table and so here's how i did my spring centerpiece i thought it turned out really cute and then i will show y'all the rest of my decor that i got so i ended up pairing this plant that i got with my country light scentsy warmer and this pedestal stand that I got at Hobby Lobby. I thought it matched really cute. And then I have this bread bowl that I got at, I think it came from an antique store. I'm not really, I can't remember for sure, 
But the color of this coordinates so well with everything else. And so I put our rocks that people signed at our wedding in this and I thought that that just looked really cute together. I do have some ideas for curtains in here as well. I would love to do the same that is in our living room. It's just white curtains with the dark bronze drapery hooks and then the dark bronze curtain rod. But I think we would have to make our own curtain rod to make it curve around and I saw this idea on Pinterest where it would just curve and that way I can do my white curtains and still have them pulled to the side on each window so that it would look how I want it to look. I think that would look good. That's about the only thing I could do because this window in the middle is so small it's just awkward to you know you wouldn't be able to put three different rods there so that's my idea for that. This is what I ended up with in the living room. I have to repaint this mantle because whoever lived here before us did not fill the holes very well and then you can see where they painted over it where it's not the same color but i had this plant already i think i got this from hobby lobby this cake stand is from target dollar slot and this is my diamond weave scentsy warmer i love this because it has this white marble base on the bottom it's so pretty and then on the other side i just have this M that I made years ago. I got a cardboard M at Hobby Lobby and I literally just hot glued this jute, like wrapped it around it and hot glued it on there. This is the vase I got at Target. These are some hydrangeas I had and then this is, I'm not sure where this is from. I got it from my mom a long time ago. This is not spring specific, but I did get this at Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love this sign. It's really big. It's the size of our love seat almost so I really like that again just ignore my couch we have to get new couches <laughs> but these pillows are not new you've seen these before if you've watched my previous videos but these pillow cases that are customized are from qualtry.com you can get really good deals on those so I got this one and the one with all of our names on it and these white soft pillows came from TJ Maxx. I think they were $20 for a pack of two. And this is my table. I got this table at Christmas tree shops, but it was being discontinued. But Kirkland's carries the exact same one. This is what I ended up doing with my decor. I had these coasters from years ago. I think I got those at Hobby Lobby. The milk can is from Hobby Lobby and I wrapped the twine around it myself just so it would give it a little bit of you know just add something to it. I got the cotton stems actually from Amazon and the eucalyptus stems are from Hobby Lobby I believe. This is the tobacco basket decoration that I got at wherever I said I got it at I can't remember now. These beads came from Kirkland's last year and they have the little tag that says thankful and I love the way the tag, the metal tag ties into the rest of my metal decor. This is actually, I don't think they carry this anymore. I got it during the fall season because the thankful was super cute for that. This is the vase and the flowers that I picked up. I actually broke just a couple of flowers off of this. It had three big stems or maybe like three or five big stems and I just pour one out and just use that one so I have some leftover to use for other things. This is my olive bucket Scentsy Warmer. I absolutely love this. And then this frame is from TJ Maxx, I believe. It's like a light jade green. So I thought that all coordinated really well. And then my shelves above it are from Hobby Lobby. These are insanely affordable. I think they're $12.50 when they're on sale 50% off. I got my letter board from Amazon. I got this plant from Hobby Lobby and then that's the clock that I just bought. And this is just an old mason jar I had and some other hydrangeas. And then this picture frame, which I need to change the picture on, is from TJ Maxx. So that is how it all came together. So it is the next day. We're having a lazy day. I'm still in my PJs, but that's okay because we need those sometimes. But I just wanted to close this out. I hope y'all enjoyed the spring decor haul and spring decor tour. I had a lot of fun making it and I hope that I gave y'all some ideas and inspiration and hopefully y'all can go catch some of the sales that I caught because there were some really good deals right now. I will make sure that I link everything in the description box that I mentioned as far as like the big things, my table, my chairs, bar stools, the warmers. So 
hopefully y'all can snag some of those things if you are in need of those. I apologize for not being consistent with my uploads. I am strictly a Scentsy business owner and mom. So YouTube is just a fun side hobby kind of thing for me. So that is why I don't upload like multiple times a week or even once a week. I just, I just upload when I have time to edit a video. So I hope y'all enjoy it though when I do get to upload because I do have fun making these and I have fun hearing your feedback. So make sure you leave a comment and let me know if you enjoyed this. Leave it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.